Alan Moore's The Watchmen is a timeless classic in the world of comics. I loved it. I bought all 12 original issues. They're amazing. It's one of the few comics I would reread if I could find all 12 of them. I'm sure they're in my collection somewhere. Anyhow, you know, Alan Moore quit comics, and I understand why, because they did this thing where they took The Watchmen and then made sequels to them at DC without Alan Moore. There really should not be a sequel to The Watchmen. It just is one of those things, it's over, don't mess with it. But unfortunately, DC decided to make comics, and now they're making a series based on The Watchmen, which uh, Damon Linden, Lindenhoff, whose work I do not like at all, I believe worked on this thing as well. So I'm going to watch the trailer and probably puke. So let's do it. We are no one. We are everyone. Okay, first off, Dark Knight Returns already did this. So... And the clock in the comic was about the time ticking down to the big event in the comic, which is already over. So. They came for everybody. Oh, please. Oversleep. just looks god awful it it this is what unfortunately happens when you get what you wish for fanboys of comics um hollywood doesn't know what they're doing when it comes to comics they never have they've never read them i worked with a producer who was gonna turn one of my comics into a movie or he said he was but he was a liar but one of the things he did was pitch my own ideas back to me because he had not read panel one of the damn comic. We had been talking about it for months, if weeks at least, if not months. Had a meeting with him and he's like, well, what if we did this or what if we did that? I'm like, that's already in the comic. You haven't read this, have you? And he's like, no, no, I've read it, I've read it. These guys... They don't read things. They have their assistant read things and give them the gist of it. And then they create, which means they drive around and go, oh, I got an idea and it must be good because I'm me and I'm a narcissist. Therefore, it's good. No. What are you two talking about? Oh, nothing. Just the end of the world. Ugh. It's no wonder that Alan Moore is out of comics. This is a disgrace. It really is. I hope HBO, you lose your shirt on this thing. I don't know how you can lose money on the way you make things, but I definitely would not get HBO for this. Jeez. Uh, oh, it's, it's exhausting. It, it, it feels like the energy has been drained out of me to see something like this that's so terrible it's just like something should be done about its terribleness someone should be held into account for making something so awful so the opposite of a great thing it's literally like taking the mona lisa and like you know redoing it really poorly or doing many sequel paintings where like it's just they're just disgusting and you know, modern. The, 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 the Watchmen was a thing of its time, and it was a comic book, and it was a very nuanced and complicated comic book. This is... It's, it, it, it. Please, if you're a fan of comics, I advise you to not watch the show. 
to tell everybody who has HBO to not watch it and make sure it fails as hard as possible. Let this be the lowest watched rated thing that HBO has ever done so they cancel it midway through and don't even attempt another season.